Next here at 6, with recreational marijuana already being sold on some Native American lands, comes a new warning from the health commissioner in Cattaraugus County. His concern is with cannabis candy. It can look appealing to kids, but it could obviously be dangerous to them. He spoke with two on your side's Kelly Dudzik. This particular package uh, of sweet tarts contains, uh, I believe, uh, five, no, it's 600 milligrams of THC in it per gummy, and uh, that's very concerning. The Cattaraugus County Public Health Director wants parents to keep their edibles away from their kids. Before a child uh, consuming these, um, these products and this amount of products at one time can for sure cause uh, a toxic effect. Of course, it's going to alter their mental status. Uh, it will um, potentially cause them to, um, uh, to vomit. Uh, and um, there may be other consequences associated with a child consuming these, uh, these products, especially at such large uh, amount of THC in the products at one time. New York State will allow state licensed dispensaries to sell marijuana edibles when they open. Dr. Watkins says they won't be allowed to sell them with packaging that appeals to kids. The Seneca Nation is already selling edibles. Its leaders say they think some of the labeling could be clearer. I think we're going to get there. Again, um, you know, it's a work in progress. But again, like all other states that we're watching, is that the black market is still the primary mover in all these other states because everybody wants to overregulate or overtax. Dr. Watkins is just asking parents to be responsible and careful if they choose to buy edibles and have them at home. Kelly Dudzik, Channel 2 News.